Okay, well, as an example of background radiation, we are in the greenhouse right now. In the greenhouse. Covered since the end of March. There's all the rainwater up there. There's no rainwater hitting this garden in here, but just tap water and uh, filtered water that I've used because I have an aquaponic setup, which is a fish feeding plants in a separate unit here, which you hear in the background. But this soil is still the same as outside. I've been reading this for about 10, 15 minutes. We've gone through 15 cycles, so we've gotten a good average. And my bean plant looks pretty good. And my tomatoes are pretty good. A little yellow, but got some tomatoes over there. And got tomatoes here. We got carrots. And we got more carrots and cucumber here. And I built this because of the uh, the accident in Japan. I built this immediately following it before really any rain hit Vancouver because I knew I would want to test uh, with all the hype that was going on and uh, the lack of interest by the government in informing the public and letting them know things were okay. I took it upon myself to start testing and we've got our tomatoes here as well. We've got our potatoes here. We've got lots of strawberries ton of strawberries and blueberry bush. But there you go, we're at zero now, so the ground is not registering too much radiation. We've had a 0.14 to 0.09, and it's sitting right on the dirt. Clicking a little bit more now. Tobacco plants here I'm getting eaten by bugs. Some of them are doing okay, I think, but covering them every day. And that's uh, Virginia tobacco there. And a nice cucumber flower there. No cucumbers forming yet, but I have been eating out of this garden. I've already eaten all the spinach that was at the back there and I've eaten all the radishes that were here. So back to the numbers here, we're at 12 now. I'm gonna do a few minutes here because people that are looking at other videos and seeing shocking numbers and stuff, I've been looking for those shocking numbers for three months now, two and a half months. And even before I started posting the videos, I was checking just to make sure I didn't post anything that was inaccurate or not averaged out. And personally, I can't see that anybody wiping the windshield of a car could come up with 0.5 or above or even dangerous background. And uh, there's about a 3% chance I'm wrong, but we would be detecting these levels in the rain here as well. A lot of the rain in Vancouver and BC anyways is evaporation off the ocean, offshore, not so much the jet stream as much as the uh, interaction between the dust traveling over from Japan or sand from China or whatever you want to have as a proven transport carrying along with it radiation. This is why a lot of people think they're getting sick from chemtrails too, is because although the chemtrails might be particulate, uh, they're dragging down, as mentioned in the Epoch Times about three years ago, I think I did an article on it in a video, that they drag down pathogens from the upper atmosphere that humans usually are not in contact with. And these pathogens can affect us in all kinds of ways and introduce all kinds of new bugs to us that haven't been coming out of the atmosphere at that level of fallout uh, for many years until the jets started leaving huge contrail chemtrails. G 
geoengineering trails across the sky. And that's when all the uh, illness connection came to the chemtrail thing, which may be a, you know, another side effect of them, but necess not necessarily a, a intentional, uh, maybe an ignored aspect, but not an intentional aspect of the geoengineering chemtrails which seem to transport the heavy rain cloud moisture further inshore. But we've been getting rain the last few weeks and uh, had about three heavy rainfalls. And I've found no increases in radiation in the rain. I'll move it over here just to show you that we're not doing something all set up. I have nothing buried underneath the soil here. So, you know, a lot of us could use money right now and uh, you know people were getting hundreds of dollars for Beanie Babies on eBay at one point so there's plenty of people out there that aren't too shy to take people's money for something that might not be of value and uh, you know this camera has a, a ding in the lens but I'm not asking my subscribers 500 of them or something for money to get a new camera to film geoengineering trails because I have the time and work at home so ask yourself when there is a motive for money then there's going to be a urgency to present some kind of entertainment or results and we're just not getting it I can move this all over and we're not going to get a ton of beeps like we would off Fiesta Wear or any other thorium or mantle net from a gas lantern and like I've said I've tested the Fiesta wear and it freaks out so this gauge does detect radiation and uh, if I get some time today I'll go take a video of the Fiesta wear and show you what this gauge is capable of reading reading in this greenhouse was 0.21 so we're at 0 0.09 to 0, .0 or 0 0.21 in an area that has been covered from rainfall for the last four months almost so we're not getting readings much different than what we're getting outside and this was my control which I have not seen anybody else do not even dig into the ground and test at three feet underneath the ground where fallout would not be building up. So we'll let this go to the end of this cycle. There have been a few more beeps. And hopefully I'll have some food soon. Well, I'll have to ask for donations for food, I guess, to feed myself while I can film chemtrails and geoengineering and mystery jet lines in the sky which I'll, again I'll mention my local MP did a TV show on with Will Thomas and won't talk about it now but scared the hell out of a lot of people back in 2000 over chemtrails and that's why I'm sort of on my MP for being accountable to the public because uh, first off she voted for war against Libya after being a peace platform in her election and she will not address chemtrails or geoengineering as a issue in her riding despite the fact she's accused or presented a show that accused the trails of being a biological weapon and uh, all kinds of other horrifying theories like that Moret guy does and stuff and there's a lot of fear mongers out there and they're all well paid a lot of them so beware of that stuff. There's enough shit to be scared of in this world that we don't have to be making it up. Zero six. There you go, guys. I'm gonna go get the Fiesta.